press entering. Good afternoon, everyone, and uh, to all of our partners from across uh, governments, financial institutions, from regions around the globe, welcome. Thank you for being here this afternoon. Uh, since uh, 2022, the United States and other G7 members have been working together to finance infrastructure projects that support economic growth all around the world. We've been bringing together governments, business, financial institutions, to pool our resources, to pool our expertise. And the goal, the objective, is to build quality, sustainable infrastructure, from roads to clean energy to fiber optic cables. We're doing this with the higher, highest standards of transparency, labor and environmental protections, in partnership with communities to make sure that we're being responsive to their needs. And just over the last two years, the United States has mobilized some $60 billion to support projects around the world, from South America to Southeast Asia to Africa. The Libido Corridor, connecting Angola, Zambia, Democratic Republic of Congo, is one of our biggest projects. The ultimate goal is infrastructure connecting the Atlantic to the Indian Ocean. The coalition that we built includes three African countries, two of our G7 partners, and the Africa Finance Corporation and African Development Bank. We look forward to welcoming Italy, which has already made significant investments uh, on the continent through its own Mate plan. So far, the United States and our partners have committed over $4 billion to Libido Corridor projects. Together, we're expanding access to clean energy, the internet, health care, and we're upgrading and building railways, roads, bridges. And we're already seeing results. Um, it used to be that it took up to 45 days to get shipments to port by truck. Now, just a fraction of that time by train. Today, multiple international shipments are running every week, including to the United States, bringing, for example, copper, helping to fuel the clean energy transition. Regional shipments will soon include agricultural products to strengthen <laughs> food supply chains. Uh, in January, I had a chance to visit Angola. I saw the benefits of this development firsthand. I heard from CEOs about investments that they're making in the corridor, like developing solar grids to be clean, affordable energy to more than a million people. Uh, just moments ago, uh, several members of the group announced new steps forward to build a railway connecting Zambia and the port of Libido, including signed agreements between Angola, Zambia, and the African Finance Corporation to continue uh, developing uh, the project. Uh, U.S. Uh, Trade and Development Agency providing more than $2 million in grants for environmental and social impact assessments to uphold standards, building on recently completed feasibility studies. Today, Tanzania is also joining conversations about the Libido Corridor for the first time, something we very much welcome. Uh, this afternoon, we'll have a chance to discuss how we can expand the Libido Corridor and also lay the groundwork for the convening of leaders in Angola, led by President Biden and President Lorenzo. So uh, I'm very eager to have this conversation, to get a chance to uh, hear from our colleagues. Uh, this is an incredibly positive endeavor, one that's already showing results. But as I had a chance to see for myself, um, the possibilities are extraordinary. Uh, and uh, the challenge before us is to continue the work to actually realize them. With that, thank you very much, and I'll hand it up to you right now. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Thank you.